Hi, this is Murph, and I'll show you how to connect to a VM uh, running on uh, Citizen Server 6.1, which is running on top of VMware Fusion as a nested guest. So, on my previous videos, I explained to you how to install uh, Citizen Server 6.1 on top of VMware Fusion, as well as uh, uh, creating a VM and installing Zen uh, Center. Now, I didn't finish the VM installation, so I just want to show you that I can connect to my VM uh, running on top of this uh, this uh, Zen server here, which is running as a VM. So I'm just gonna connect to my Windows uh, VM, uh, Windows machine uh, that has the Citrix Zen Center installed. Uh, so here's the uh, system that has the Zen Center installed, and here's the VM that we I walked you through uh, creating the VM. So I finished the installation. I just want to show you that you know you can connect fine, and the VM is functional actually. So um, in CentOS 6.4, by default installation, uh, uh, when it comes up, you will have you'll not have any network connectivity. So to enable it, you just go to the I have you know this path. FCC is going to make uh, network scripts. Uh, I have CFG 80, and then all you have to do is basically uh, make it on boot to yes, and I usually control the NM control to no. So once you do that and uh, just run a service uh, network restart, you should have connectivity to your, uh, you should have the uh, it's zero uh, interface uh, uh, gonna have an IP address. So uh, once I did that, then I have the connectivity. Now I have an IP address which got it from the uh, home router that I have, uh, which is you know uh, my home network. So which is I got the IP 192.168.1.116, so I can ping google.com, should be able to. Uh, oh yeah, I can ping, I'll just ping control C. There you go. Okay, so let me see if I can connect to this VM from SSH. Okay, I might not be able to connect because uh, in SSH by default connecting through root is disabled. So I'm just going to enable SSH for root. But in production, you might not want to do that. You may have individual users connecting to the uh, uh, Linux server uh, to SSH and disable the root uh, login. Okay, so I'm going to look for remote. Uh, sorry, uh, permit. I'm gonna look for that string here, which I believe. So here you go, permit root login to yes. So uncommand that section. Okay, done. And I'm gonna restart the SSH D service. So restarting the SSH server. Sorry. And I should restart. Now I'm going to go back into my new window here. So I have this as a terminal client here. I'm just going to log into the 192.168.1. Look at the IP address, which is a uh, Oh, I forgot the IP address actually. So it is 116. So 116. Mm, actually, I have to use root because I'm logging in as root. Like yes. And I'm connected. There you go. So I'm connected to my. Uh, VM running on Zen server, so see the you know performance is not so bad. So that's about it, and thank you for watching the video.